So, we have a whole heap of things to cover in this video. But before we go into the video and go into the main stories, we have a whole heap of other stuff we are going for the ground one where we need to highlight. And I know JY family, it's really hard to keep up. Trust me. Like and share the video. I am doing my best. So, all me asking of you do, I like and share the video. So, this is the current situation in Halligata Pan in St. Elizabeth. Move on, you know. This is what taking place in Black River. Yes, peeps, current situation in Black River. The light where is under fire right now. See there? JPS, where are you? Step up to the game. Problem there, Black River peeps. See there? No look, you see it. See there? Current situation in Black River. This is about hustling. Uh, yeah, this is about hustling. We don't have any anywhere to walk when the rain fall. When the rain fall, all the lane full up with the water. You see down there? Yes. All fishes and fish run out, all the pans, all the drains them, all over. This is this is where we have to walk. This is it. We don't have a road right now. So I don't know what the MP or those person can do for us. But look at the road. The person walking all over the place. Look over there. Look, see the Adam how the Adam look. My God, you don't want to see another part. Look, another person walking in the water, and the water is very, very stinky. The pan, the pan full up and black, so you can't go through it. Oh my God, look at the water force. Funny road. <laughs> no stop. We can laugh at this. We can, we can, we can um, come out, I, come out, I, Lian. <laughs> Amara, go on, come out of the water. You see that? No. Look, look over there, person's yard. See over there? Oh, look, this. She's in the lane. My God, is the water running? Uh, no, stop! Yeah. And it was a first dinner. I smell awful. Bad house lane gone. You're watching Jamaica YouTube TV. So we get it exactly how we tell it. No fabrication. You got it? So just like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and look a bless outside saying. And well, well, well. So JY family, as me telling her. We have a whole heap of things. So we are going to kick started with this one. We're not hit, we're not waste no time. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You Just be careful if you live in a low line area. Yeah, man, evacuate because there's a flash flood warning for Jamaica as we speak. That's why you see the amount of rain and all these things are going, JY family. So do the right thing, man. Just take the necessary precaution before it's too late. No joke, no in it. Now, JY family, moving on, right? So we got going to go Bella's mm -hmm. Gate. St. Catherine. Before we go into this official report, 775-378-1640. You are going to need the number because you need to see how the citizens do the wire. But, go and save the number. Me are going to give you the report and I'm going to tell you why you need to 
text me for WhatsApp. Police investigators are probing the death of a farmer and an alleged gunman in the Bellas Gate community in St. Catherine on Tuesday night. The farmer has been identified as 20-year-old Marnie Letts, also known as Zungo and Zeng of Cockeridge Bellas Gate, while the other man is Odian Jemison, otherwise called Magadag, also of Bellas Gate. Reports are that about 9.20 p.m., Mr. Letts was inside a bar in the community when Mr. Jemison entered the establishment and brandished a firearm. Listen, JY family, uh, yes, so you get wicked, you know. Patrons attempted to disarm him and he was seriously wounded during the tussle. A bullet was discharged from the weapon during the struggle and Mr. Letts was hit. Both men were assisted to the Spanish Town Hospital where they died. The police reported sees a Beretta pistol affixed with a magazine containing 12 rounds of ammunition from the scene. No JY family, Uno are going to need the number because the people, them, me I tell you, say, <laughs> them give them on a closed casket, JY family. Nobody can identify the gunman. Yeah, man. Them deal with the bed bug wicked. Them say this a bed bug, you now nah go a court, come back out from bail, and then laugh off a people. Because remember, say from other day a beer that I go on, you know. Yeah, man. Them deal with them, them get stone, black, all different type of things. And my time, JY family. Them my time beyond recognition. So, 775-378-1640. Please, don't call me. If you ever call me, me now go answer the phone. And me and you in a trouble. Me good all black you. Because me busy like you too. And me know why you call me and get me fired, remember. I don't know it go. Me now have to say 40. <laughs> Don't call me. Just send me a message and then me reply to you when I can. Alright? Yeah, man. I think too. If you text me, I'm a real I say you did in my WhatsApp group and left me not even look for you. Me not have time for eyeglass just like how you don't have time for eyeglass. Don't you? On those feet because people are do YouTube with eyeglass out here. No. So if you then at the group I left the group and then I text me say JY send this and send that. No, me not have no time for that. Move on. JY family, don't touch the dial. Before we go into the next report, a co-worker reach out to me and say, JY, I need you to highlight this because this is not right. Check it out. When we come back, we talk some more. Alright, so well good evening. However, Work at Texaco, that other one on Mullions Road, right? No, nobody there hasn't gotten paid, not even supervisor, as I've heard. But me know if you have facts and no pump attendant, nor no cash in to get paid. However, them still want all of we supposed to come and work said way and we not get no pay. No, it is it is past unfair for all of we have your borrow borrow to go and work and no no we not get no pay. Me past thirty at thousand dollars in a debt. And practically when me get my little thirty something thousand dollar pay, it practically done. And it is unfair because right about now, none of we not get no strong update about or nothing ago. All the thing we are here about is stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. That that now work right about now because everybody have bills. 
and nobody builds them now get pay everybody people are fear people are walk down everybody what they will borrow money and it no look good and them really I behave like a desical and it really I get to everybody and me just don't put it out there before we have to go and minister a little because this don't look good so to the employer at the Texaco and Molines Road. Listen to me. The people them say they might give you a warning. Them say them respect you, you know. Yeah, because when you used to pay, when you used to pay good and when you used to pay on time. So they might cooperate with you the same way. But no, this is going on for far too long right now. A month now the people them don't get no pay. So don't make me call on the name. I that the people them are say right now. So please do the right thing and don't make them go a labor board. Yeah, man. Me have everything pan file, you know. Me have everything pan deck. JY family, make it make sense. How oh, you forget up, go a work, see them way. And you continue to borrow money, borrow money. You have to hide from people. You know how embarrassing that is? Because when you borrow $100 or $200 from a man and say, yo, tomorrow you get it back, man. And tomorrow come. And that the man they can't see you. Next day come, one, one week come, one, one whole month come. Then you start hide the, the person, you know, John was star, especially as a young person. I you know, don't know, say people them have them mouth, but young people already, you know, so we are thief and criminal and all the different type of things. You understand? No, these are people that get up every day and go to them work because them willing for work. Them are no bed bug. Eh? Tell me now, JY family, you know, see why... The, the, the stealing can't stop. Hmm? Jano Star. Come. Take a cup on Mullines Road. You know, do the right thing, man. Do the right thing before. All of me reveal every information you may have. Yeah. So. Yeah, we are look out. And anybody can get in contact with me from that area. Do the right thing. Yeah, from that specific Take a cup. Blessings. My people, I'm registering my concern this morning as it relates to the Titchfield High School and the Happy Grove High School here in Eastern Portland. And the fact that the authorities, the Ministry of Education, the Minister, Region 2, the Member of Parliament and other local representatives I don't see any urgency from them or any concern from those quarters as it relates to these schools not fully open. This morning, I got information that of the 21 classrooms that needs to be repaired at Titchfield High School, only seven have been completed to date. I want to suggest to the authorities and to the school that the school be placed on shift temporarily because some of our children are going to school two days a week some three days and some actually one so i'm suggesting that you place the school on shift until the entire plant is ready so that our children can attend school and get the required learning especially for teach field that is in the town you could place Stitchfield on shift. So you have two shifts for the day. Happy Grove is something that I would want them to look into based on where Happy Grove is and how children travel to Happy Grove to school. So please, I am concerned about our children's education. Them try clip with wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass of.